Uchi, Oichi, is the language of the Soyaha, children of the sun, people living in Oklahoma. Historically, they lived in the southeastern United States, including eastern Tennessee, western Carolinas, northern Georgia, and Alabama, in the period of early European colonization. Many speakers of the Uchi language were forcibly relocated to Indian territory in the early 19th century. Some audio tapes exist in the collections of the Columbus State University Archives in Columbus, Georgia. Classification Yuchi is classified as a language isolate, because it is not known to be related to any other language. Various linguists have made claims, however, that the language has a distant relationship with the Suan family, Sapper in 1921 and 1929, Haas in 1951, and 1964, Elmendorf in 1964, Rudis in 1974, and Crawford in 1979. In 1997, the Oichis United Cultural Historical Educational Efforts -E -E -E, claimed that there were currently two spoken dialects, the Duck Creek Polecat and the Bigpin variations. Geographic distribution Yuchi is primarily spoken in the northeastern Oklahoma region. In 1997, 12 to 19 elders spoke the language out of an estimated Yuchi population of 1,500 speakers. In 2009, only five fluent speakers whose first language was not English remained. History Yuchi people were originally native to Tennessee and later moved to Georgia in the southeastern United States. However, speakers of the Yuchi language were forcibly relocated with the Muscogee people to Indian Territory prior to the Trail of Tears. Contradiction in linguistic study and linguistic history because of the language's past of removal and state of being forbidden, there have been several changes which have changed the way the language is spoken. In 1885, Swiss linguist Albert S. Gatschet wrote an article in the publication Science, which indicated various linguistic idiosyncrasies. He claimed that adjectives are not expressed with number, but nouns are with the addition of the particle ha coming from the original term wahale, meaning many, which made the word essentially plural. He also claimed that the language was no longer in an archaic state due to the lack of a dual, and that the language had temporal and personal inflection. Gatshed also did lots of field study and documentation regarding the language. Many of his original vocabulary lists can be found at the National Anthropological Archives or on their website. Later on, Frank G. Speck published Ethnology of Yuchi Indians in 1907. This publication provided slightly different information. It claimed that there was only one dialect, that inflection was not a characteristic, and that there was no true plural. This information contradicts the study made by Albert S. Gatshed in the century beforehand. There was, however, one linguistic idiosyncrasy upon which they agreed, which was the case of the third person. In 1997, the Oichis United Cultural Historical Educational Efforts e -E -E, published a work entitled Oichis, Past and Present, which provided more modern information regarding the language. The organization claims that today there are two dialects, differentiating between the Duck Creek Polecat and Bigpind areas. This contradicts the study done by Speck, in which he claimed there was only one dialect. Current status Due to assimilation into Muscogee and English-speaking culture, only a few elderly speakers of the Yuchi language remain. In 2000 the estimated number of fluent Yuchi speakers was 15, but this number dwindled to 7 by 2006, 5 by 2010, and 4 by 2013. In 2016, first language speaker and Yuchi elder Josephine Wildcat Beigler died. She had been active in recording and preserving the Yuchi language for future generations. The Oichi Language Project teaches Yuchi classes in Sepulpa, Oklahoma, free of charge. Presence in popular literature the Yuchi people and language are the subject of a chapter in Spoken Here, Travels Among Threatened Languages, a book on endangered languages by Mark Abley. Linguistics The language originally had no written standard until the 1970s, when James Crawford and Addie George created a phonetic transliteration which is now used by the Yuchi people to write the language. 
Morphosyntax Yuchi is an agglutinative language, in which words are pieced together out of pre-existing morphemes to make new words entirely. The word order of the language is subject-object-verb. The language uses clitics and particles to express a variety of things, including possessives, cases, affixes, ideas, locatives, instrumentals, simulatives, ablatives, and demonstratives. Phonology The language has 49 sounds, 38 of which are consonants, and the remaining 11 are vowels. This number is more than twice the number of most southeastern Native American languages. Vowels Yuchi has oral and nasal vowels. Oral vowels are defined as being created by the raising of the soft palate to the nasopharyngeal wall, creating a velopharyngeal space within the oral cavity. Nasal vowels, on the other hand, are typically defined as being created by the lowering of the soft palate, allowing air to escape through the nasal cavity. Two vowel charts appears below. Note that the vowels below represent the phonetic inventory, meaning the set of all, or most, sounds in the language, the phonemic inventory, those sounds which contrastively mark differences in meaning, are highlighted in the list below the vowel charts. Please note that the nasal vowel chart is incomplete. The phonemic vowels of Yuchi are I, U, E, O, A, A, I, E, O, Ash, A. Some levels of phonological or morphological variation must therefore be occurring in order for all of the sounds above to be possible. Phonological variation Phonological variation often occurs in different kinds of morphological environments. For example, the phoneme, o, is often pronounced as, t, in first-person singular and impersonal third-person pronouns by big pond speakers. Also, the phonemes, a, and, o, can become, t, in unstressed environments. Length Vowel length indicates grammatical function, such as superlative or comparative adjective forms or emphasis. It may also indicate contracted morphemes, and thus is not a phonological process but rather a morphological one. Consonants Yuchi has been analyzed as having from 19 to 40 consonants, chiefly depending on whether the glottalized and labialized consonants are counted, are considered to be sequences with and with, respectively. Some of the latter are included in the table in parentheses. Stress and intonation Stress Stress in Yuchi is fairly regular. All major parts of speech have syllable final stress, and syllable initial secondary stress, also, particles, one-syllable words, are stressed. There are some minimal pairs to be found due to stress, some representative samples include Appa Creek person, tribe Opia Go see someone. Saint Nay, he sees Saint Nay, she sees Aya. Weeds. Aja. Squirrel. As mentioned above, most nouns have syllable final primary stress. There are, however, some regularized exceptions to this rule, the most common of which are nouns with lexicalized suffixes in the stem, which have stress on the penultimate syllable. Also, contractions within compounded nouns have primary stress on the contraction. There are various other exceptions, but the two mentioned above are the most frequent and the most important in helping us to understand why Yuchi nouns often appear to have irregular stress patterns. Both regular and non-regular stress patterns are exemplified below, all glossed. All data come from Wagner, 1974, unless otherwise noted. Oholan, young man. Jaxi, sparks of fire. Water. Saw Earth Soon, the Sun Aali Tilda Aale Today, Morning Tskal Misty Rain K and D Meet Verb stems typically have primary stress on the ultimate syllable, as well. The two major exceptions are reduplicated verbs, which have equal stress on both the last and reduplicated syllables of the stem, and verb compounds with the head root, ju, in which primary stress is syllable initial. Some examples include Ida to hold it up tata light. Intonation Intonation varies depending upon the kinds of sentences being uttered. 
declarative, negative, and command speech acts have falling intonation, while information questions and yes, no questions have rising pitch. Morphologically, intonation can also change the reception of a word and its intended meaning, as we see in the following example of three different intonation patterns for the word. What? Wiki. What? Requesting information. Wiki down right arrow. What? Didn't hear. Wiki down right arrow. What? Frightened, surprised. Contractions. One of the most significant aspects of Uchimorpha phonology is the prevalence of contractions. Contraction should not here be taken to mean only a shortening of words, rather, it is more useful to think of contraction as a deletion of sounds that in turn affects surrounding vowels. What can be contracted is dependent upon two major factors, the sound which begins the contracted syllable, and the stress of the syllable. In order for a syllable to be contracted, it must begin with a plus sonorant consonant, that is, a voiced sound with a relatively free passage of air. In Yuchi, this includes sounds such as n, n, with, with, j, j, where, indicates a glottalized sound, the fricative, h, and a syllable must also be unstressed in order to contract. Contraction causes phonetic changes in the vowels directly preceding the deleted syllable. In order for Yuchi speakers to understand the grammatical features of the words being used in contracted forms, vowel features alternate to match the deleted sounds. So, for example, if the morpheme, ne, was contracted, the vowel preceding it would become nasalized to indicate that a nasal sound has been lost. Contraction must necessarily come before the phonetic change in vowels. For example, consider the following word, dl, aj. Did you look in the box? N can contract here because it is an unstressed syllable beginning with a sonorant, dlmpaj. CCC clusters are relatively rare, occurring in only six variations as noted by Wolf, four of them beginning with fricatives. Such a construction as above would therefore likely be odd to speakers of Yuchi. Contractions take on several forms and occur in many other environments. Those seeking additional information about the many kinds of contraction in Yuchi are advised to seek out Dr. Mary Lin's A Grammar of Oichi. A list of the most commonly contracted morphemes is below, along with their grammatical function. Ne dash, second person singular actor. We third person non Yuchi actor or patient, singular or plural. O, third person plural Yuchi actor or patient, women. S speech. Hi, third person inanimate patient, singular or plural. Ho, third person inanimate patient and participant, singular or plural. U, verb root. Ne, habitual aspect. E, active verbalizer. Grammar Like many indigenous American languages, Yuchi grammar is agglutinative. Words are formed by the addition of various prefixes and suffixes to a mono- or polysyllabic stem. Yuchi features separate male and female registers and an idiosyncratic noun classification system wherein nominal distinction is made regarding animacy, yuchi ethnicity, kinship and, for inanimate nouns, shape or spatial position. Much of the information in this section is drawn from Wagner 1938. Some of Wagner's conclusions, particularly regarding his interpretation of yuchi kinship terminology and certain aspects of his description of yuchi pronouns, have been disputed. Verbs. The Yuchi verb consists of a mono or polysyllabic stem modified almost exclusively by suffixing. Yuchi features attributive verbs, which is to say that the language makes very little distinction between verbs and adjectives as parts of speech. For this reason, Yuchi verbs and adjectives are virtually identical. Tense the concept of temporal verb inflection is only weakly realized in Yuchi and corresponds more closely in some cases to aspect rather than tense. The past tense is generally expressed via suffixing of the verb stem. Jin incomplete past. 8. Jin foot complete past. Had eaten. DJ infa habitual past. Used to eat. Jinfuajian emphatic past. 
Happen to eat. Jigo. Uncertain past, perhaps eight. There are also two ways of expressing future tense. The first, which usually denotes intentions or events of the immediate future, is expressed by lengthening, stressing and nasalizing the final syllable of the verb stem. The second, pertaining to the distant future, is expressed by the suffix e. Le. Modality. Modality of the verb is also expressed through suffixing. No imperative. Go. Wo exhortative. Should go. Go potential. Might go. Ho emphatic. Did go. Te ability. Can go. Nouns. Nouns are classified according to a broad animate versus inanimate paradigm which is expressed using a variety of article suffixes. Within the animate class, nouns are further subdivided into two sub-classes. The first of these includes all humans belonging to the Yuchi tribe, and is itself further divided according to a very complex system of kinship relations and gendered speech registers. The second sub-class of animate nouns encompasses all human beings outside of the Yuchi tribe, as well as animals, and the sun and moon. The animate yuchi, suffixes express a very complex system of kinship and gendered speech in much the same way as do third-person pronouns. No any male or female yuchi, used by men and women. Seno any younger per men, related, female, used by men and women. S. N. O younger male relative, used by women only. Eno older female relative used by men and women. Ono younger unrelated male or any other unrelated person used by women only. Eno older male relative used by women only. Weno all other animate beings and animate nouns are divided into three groups: objects that are vertical, objects that are horizontal, and objects that are round or otherwise do not conform to either of the other two groups. Each of these groups is represented by a suffix. Fa vertical E horizontal Dji round Number The concept of plurality in Yuchi is not as strongly developed as in English, leading one early descriptivist to claim that Yuchi has no true plural. Animate nouns can, however, be pluralized by the addition of suffixes that correspond closely to their singular counterparts. Although tribal affiliation and gender distinctions carry over into the plural, kinship does not. Hena Yuchi tribe members, male speech. Ona Yuchi tribe members, female speech. Wina all other animate beings and animate nouns can be made plural by the suffix ha, which replaces the singular inanimate suffixes listed above. In addition to suffixing, several words related to kinship are pluralized via reduplication of the stem. Pronouns The Yuchi pronoun is extremely complex. Except in a few emphatic forms, the pronoun is always suffixed to a verb or noun stem, and appears in eight distinct sets. The first pronoun set, termed the subjective series, denotes the subject relationship of the pronoun to the verb. Series 1 and 2 are close variations that respectively represent a general and specific object, whereas the independent series represents freestanding pronouns. Third-person pronouns follow a complex pattern of kinship and gendered speech that corresponds very closely to the animate noun suffixes. Ho, ho, hodi any male or female yuchi, used by men and women. Se, seo, sedi any younger, for men, related female, used by men and women. S. E. S. I. O. Sedi younger male relative, used by women only. E, I, O, Eddie older female relative, used by men and women. O, 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 D, I, younger unrelated male or any other unrelated person, used by women only. I, any older male relative, used by women only. 
we, yo, wedi, all animate, non uchi beings first person pronouns in the plural are inclusive and exclusive, and there are several kinship specific third person forms. A few of the third person singular pronouns double as plural pronouns as well. Ho, ho, hodi any male or female yuchi, used by men and women. O, 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 D, I in the plural, refers to any younger yuchi regardless of kinship or gender, used by women only. I in the plural, refers to any older yuchi regardless of kinship or gender, used by women only. We, yo, w, e, d, i, all animate, non-yuchi beings the next set, termed the objective series, denotes the direct or indirect object relationship of the pronoun to the verb. It otherwise functions identically to the subjective series. The two pronoun sets are distinguished by their relative positions within the verb complex. The third person singular pronouns are identical to those of the subjective series. Ho, ho, hodi any male or female yuchi, used by men and women. Se, seo, sedi any younger, for men, related, female, used by men and women. S. E S I O SETI younger male relative used by women only. E I O Eddie older female relative used by men and women. O O O D I younger unrelated male or any other unrelated person used by women only. I any older male relative used by women only. We, yo, w, e, d, i, all animate, non uchi beings as above, the third person plural pronouns are identical to those of the subjective series. Ho, ho, hodi any male or female yuchi, used by men and women. O, 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 d, i in the plural, refers to any younger yuchi regardless of kinship or gender, used by women only. I in the plural, refers to any older yuchi regardless of kinship or gender, used by women only. We, yo, w, e, d, i, all animate, non yuchi beings. Reflexive pronouns Reflexive pronouns are amalgamations of the objective series 1 and subjective series 1. Reflexive series 1 or subjective series 2. Reflexive series 2 pronouns. Reflexive third-person pronouns function the same, in terms of kinship and gendered speech, as their non-reflexive counterparts. Hod. Hondio. Any male or female yuchi, used by men and women. Siod. Siodio. Any younger, for men, related, female, used by men and women. S. I-O-D-E. S. Iodio. Younger male relative, used by women only. E. Yodi, E andio. Older female relative, used by men and women. Ode. Odio. Younger unrelated male or any other unrelated person, used by women only. Yodi. Yandio. Any older male relative, used by women only. Plural reflexive pronouns demonstrate clusivity in the first person, and are identical to non-reflexives in terms of kinship and gendered speech. Plural reflexive pronouns function identically to their non-reflexive counterparts in the third person. Hode. Hondio. Any male or female yuchi, used by men and women. Ode. Odio. In the plural, refers to any younger yuchi regardless of kinship or gender, used by women only. Yodi. Yandio. In the plural, refers to any older yuchi regardless of kinship or gender, used by women only. Other affixes Instrumental prefixes the relationship between an action and the instrument by which it is carried out is expressed via the prefix hi. This prefix has become fused in some cases with certain verb stems, forming a sort of instrumental verbal compound of idiomatic meaning. Locative affixes The concept of location is important to the Uchi verb complex. Similar in some ways to the English preposition, these prefixes denote the location or direction of the verb's action. 
a static location T inside of an object FO inside the earth or under water Toya into water Ta on top of Po under Kya through Loud of Pay above or over U up in the air Ya across Additionally, there are four very general locative suffixes that can be used in place of the prefixes listed above. Hian, at, away from La along, back to K over there Fa2, towards Negation an entire verbal complex can be negated using one of two prefixes, na or ha, both of which are identical in meaning. Interrogatives In direct speech wherein the sentence does not begin with an interrogative pronoun, interrogatives are formed with the suffix la. If the question implies some action in the future, the suffix ye is used instead. Notes External links The Oichi Language Project Yuchi Language Primer Albert S. Gatschet's original list of Yuchi vocabulary 1878-1891 Albert S. Gatschet's original list of Yuchi vocabulary 1832-1907 Gunther Wagner 1931 Yuchi Tales. Internet Archive. Retrieved 7 July 2012. Gunther Wagner, 1938. Yuchi Grammar. Handbook of American Indian Languages. pp. 300-374. Retrieved 7 July 2012. Joseph Mayen Collection, at Columbus State University Archives. Collection includes audio, visual recordings of Yuchi language not yet available online. Yuchi Language Project attends Youth Language Fair. Cultural Survival, 26 April 2012. Retrieved 8 August 2012. OLAC Resources in and about the Yuchi Language.